Hi, my name is Amy Duke. I'm a teacher at the Audison Middle School, and I'm also heading up a committee which is celebrating Audison's 100th birthday, a century of learning, along with other former teachers such as Ms. Anna Colazzo and several other teachers in the building. We're really happy today uh, that Dr. Kevin Fallon, who is a veterinarian in town, has agreed to come and be interviewed and share his stories of being a student at the Junior High West. Dr. Dr. Fallon, um, could we'd like you to start off with a little bit of background. Mm -hmm. uh, when did you move to Arlington or were your parents, you know, Arlington natives? No, my parents, um, my dad was from Pittsburgh and my mom was from Detroit. Um, they made, met in the Army, uh, both World War II uh, veterans, um, and got married when they were in the Army. And then they were stationed in Nebraska where my older sister was born and moved back to Massachusetts to, um, when they finished service to, my dad wanted to go to university and my mom was a registered nurse already. And um, so he was, uh, went to undergraduate school at uh, St. Michael's up in Vermont mm -hmm. uh, on the GI Bill and they had married student housing which was pretty rare for a lot of universities at the time. And I was born up in Burlington, Vermont. And we moved down to Arlington in 1950. And so how old were you when you Two. Came? Okay, so Two. you were really little. <laughs> I'm assuming you attended an Arlington Elementary School? Yes, I went to Locke School, which is right oh. across the street from where we are today. Yes, exactly. Um, for uh, kindergarten through sixth grade. And then, yeah. do you remember what year you entered the Junior High West? Or uh, graduated, was, either one? We graduated in 62, so okay. um, I guess it was 1959. I remember um, we um, had a mock election for the president and, and Kennedy won. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So you entered as a seventh grader and left as a ninth grader? Eighth, eighth grader. Eighth, it was so it's just seventh Seventh and eighth, and eighth. Okay. that's right. Good. Um, how did you get to Junior High West? Oh, I would walk. I live pretty close. I live on Florence mm -hmm. Ave, which is uh, very close to where we are now, um, on the lower side of Park Ave. So, um, all I needed to do if we went through the streets, I would go up Cliff Street, down Cliff Street to Gray Street and cut through the woods to the school. Okay, wonderful. Um, so we were talking a little bit about, before we started actually filming, the size of the building compared yeah. to now. Can you give a little just description of what the building looked like when you were there? Yeah, it was pretty much um, a L shape. And um, we actually entered school in the morning on the parking lot side uh, facing the woods mm -hmm. of that L shape, the toe of the L, and everyone entered through that one door. There was only one entrance in the morning, and, um, and I don't know why that was, because there were many doors, but I think they wanted to control it, you know. Um, so and I think it's almost doubled in size from what I can see. That sounds right. Yeah. Okay. Um, how long was the school day, sort of a typical Probably 8.30 okay. to 2.30, I would okay. say, so right that around part, that. Maybe much, 8. Yep, yep, pretty much the same. Was there a dress code? There was. Um, I think women had to wear skirts or dresses. Mm -hmm. We had to wear shirt, collared shirts yeah. with ties. Mm -hmm. um, and we weren't allowed to wear patch pocket pants. So even if you had a nice pair of corduroys, if it had the patch pocket like you see on jeans, yeah. Those weren't allowed. Okay. Did you stay for lunch? Did you go home for lunch? Oh, we, st it, we stayed for lunch. Okay. And it was downstairs in the larger of the uh, larger section of the building. Um, lunch was 25 cents. Oh my goodness. And it was um, a decent meal. Yeah. It was a decent meal. Yeah. Milk was three cents. I remember milk being three cents. That was extra. Did you go outside? Was there a recess at all? Was there any break where you went outside? No recess. Okay. No. You stayed in school. Yeah. All right. Um, so the principal when you were there was Mr. Henry Audison. Yeah. And you have some memories of him. Yeah, he was quite a, a guy. Um, he was about six foot five. And every morning he would get on the um, intercom that was connected to all the rooms. We were still doing the Pledge of Allegiance every morning. 
And um, so after that was done, there was a routine, you know, the homeroom teacher would take attendance, we'd do the P Pledge of Allegiance, and uh, then Mr. Otteson would come on with um, announcements. And he, and he had a deep, deep voice, and he would go, good morning, boys and girls. And it was, you know, it was, you knew it was him. And we, everyone called him Hank. That was his nickname, Hank. Yeah. yeah. And you said you used to walk to school with him sometimes? sometimes when, often, um, where I lived, I lived on the corner of Ashland and Florence Ave, and it was easy to cut through some people's yards to get to school rather than go up cliff and down cliff. But uh, sometimes we did go uh, that way uh, at the intersection of Oakland and uh, Gray Street. And every once in a while, Mr. Otteson would be walking through, and he was fun to talk to, so we walked with him. You know, if, if I was by myself, I wouldn't hesitate. I would walk with him, you know. And at the, at the time, and, the, and they're gone, but at the end of the woods, there is this, like, uh, cement tray. I think it's to, for, for erosion control. And it goes down to the horseshoe, you know the horseshoe, mm -hmm. and there's a sewer there. And so that, I think that was just to prevent erosion down the hill towards the school. And um, there was a staircase in the middle of that, right in behind the school. So there was a cement staircase that went, went all the way up to the, uh, went past that um, little culvert mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. there. That's what you remember. Yeah. Did you ever have to see Mr. Otteson because you got in trouble for something? No, not for trouble. Um, I had a paper route, and so I was often late to school, um, just by a couple of minutes or so. But he, that's the only thing that he ever talked to me about was my timing schedule. Yeah. I mean, was he sort of an understanding? Oh, yeah. He, he, just, he, okay. he was really, really good. Oh, yeah. That's great. He was easy to deal with. There was another, the vice principal was the tough guy, I think, uh, Mr. Duggan, I think his name was. And he was the one who would do discipline, give out um, detention. Uh, sure. or whatever needed for kids who got in trouble. And do you remember what kids would get in trouble for? A um, lot of our students are very interested in that question. Yeah, um, <laughs> getting caught smoking. They would sneak oh. outside and get caught smoking. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, you know, let's see. See, I can't even really think. What. Yeah. Um, sometimes uh, I know some friends of mine, their skirts were too short, and they got sent home and had to change this. Uh, oh. Get longer uh, yeah. skirts. Yeah. Um, I can't remember in anything particular. Yeah. Okay. Either. Well, yeah. that's great. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. Okay. Um, in terms of the schoolwork, was it hard to earn high grades? Like, do you remember it being a very like difficult, tough school, or was it, you know, you could kind of, as long as you got your homework yeah. done, it was yeah. okay? The homework was new uh, for us. Um, at Locke School, we never had any homework. Oh. And so the, uh, the idea of having to do homework was, uh, was novel. And uh, most of the time, I got it done. Sometimes I would get assignments and um, not write them down. Because um, I don't know why. But I remember when my mother would go to the PTA meeting, uh, teacher conference, and she would say, well, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do this? And I just didn't remember ever being assigned that assignment. Well, and that hasn't changed much. I can, <laughs> I can, I can tell you that. Good. Okay. It was, wasn't just me. Yeah. <laughs> do you have any memories of particular teachers? Yeah, I had um, my homeroom teacher, not my homeroom teacher, but my um, unit teacher. We call it unit. It was, uh, it was the teacher who, gave, who taught you English and social studies and which there was a lot of geography in there too, I remember. Um, and that was Miss Nolan. Her uh, and her, she got married, and her name was Miss Clancy, Mrs. Clancy. Um, and uh, I remember Mr. Mahoney, who was the math teacher, who eventually became principal. Um, I remember um, Mr. Porter was my science teacher. Uh, I'm trying to think. I had Mr. Louder. Um, there was a quite a few Louder brothers. One was the athletic director at the high school. Um, Mr. Louder was um, a social studies teacher also, but he was always, we, everyone liked him. Um, I'm going up and down the corridor. We had a, um, an art teacher. Everyone had to take art classes, seventh and eighth grade. And we had Mrs. Murray. And 
So when you went up to get the paint you were getting, she would say, only take a nickel's worth, which she meant the size of a nickel, because some kids would take too much, or, yeah. you know, so she was just trying to conserve. I always thought that was funny, a nickel's worth. Um, trying to think of some of the other teachers. And my uh, guidance counselor was Mr. Gordon, and everyone called him Flash because of the, <laughs> cat, because of the comic books. Um, he was a good guy. He was a good guy, too. Uh, did you take a foreign language? Yeah, I did. I took Latin. Um, and I, I can see the teacher. But I can't I, remember I think you've her name. really well. <laughs> I can't remember her name. Mrs. Briggs, I think. I think it was Mrs. Briggs. And, um, and then um, that just made me think of someone else there. I can't remember. Yeah. Do you know if there were other languages offered besides Latin, or was yeah, that? French was the other one. Okay, you do yeah. Latin or French, yeah. and did you pick like which one? Yeah, you, you got to choose. Okay, yeah, they were there. Yeah. Good. Were any of the teachers? I mean, do you remember any particularly quirks, or were they just you know kind of um, regular teachers? <laughs> well, everyone had to take shop one year for the boys. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to take a, cl a shop class. And that teacher, they called him Salminio. Um, he looked like that actor Salminio, and <laughs> he was so, he was a nut job. I think he got in I think he got in trouble um, a few years later. Um, I forget what it was, and but everyone just called him Sal, and and um, behind his back made fun of him, of right, course. Right, and, uh, yeah. and the shop class was quite large. There was about 20, 25 kids in the class at a time. Um, and then we also took printing mm -hmm. one year. And um, that teacher always wore a gray lab coat. Um, and I forget his name, but he was, he was a different kind of guy, too. I'm not sure how to describe him. <laughs> uh, but did you have a favorite teacher? Um, I had Mr. McNulty was uh, my math teacher in seventh mm -hmm. grade. And we always got along really, really well. I, liked, I had Miss Nolan, like I said, for unit. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, she and I got along well, and actually, you know, when I was back in high school, um, I went back to see her a couple of times to say hello. That's nice. And I had Mr. Tobin, uh -huh. who was, um, I think, a social studies teacher, but he also started a, 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 a fitness program mm -hmm. after school, mm -hmm. and he also started a basketball team for the uh, junior high, and um, I was on that team. and. Uh, he was an ex-Marine and quite disciplined, and uh, you know it was easy to get in trouble, make, come, ac come across the wrong way to him, and so you know ended up doing a lot of laps. You know, <laughs> that's great. Yeah. So there was a gymnasium in the school. Yeah, the the big gymnasium that okay. still exists. Yes, that was there. That it must have been pretty new then at the time. Yeah, it seemed pretty new, and that's yeah. where we had assemblies. Okay. And um, and that was quite a um, popular. Venue too for um, the Allenton uh, Parks Department. Um, uh, winter basketball. There was all sorts of teams: adult teams, high school teams, um, in the evenings. There. Do you remember any assemblies that you would? Yeah, have? they would be in that. In they They'd would set up there. chairs in yeah. uh, uh, in that gym, and uh, they would be there. And most of the presenters would be on the stage. Mm -hmm. And that's where the uh, drama club practiced too. Okay. And right behind it, if you go behind that stage, I'm not sure if it's still there, but that's where the music rooms were. Okay. I'm not Great. sure. And okay. that was a new section too. That was all added with when they added the gym. Okay. Uh, just in terms of at the time, did you have, you were, I know it's going way back, yeah. but did you have favorite music that you like to listen to? What you know what? Um, either in seventh or eighth grade, I think it was seventh grade. Um, uh, the movie West Side Story came out, oh, wow. and um, you know that was really, really magic. Everyone was into it, um, and we—I uh, went with a few of my friends. The only place you could go see the movie was in Boston, and and so you know we would take the train and the subway in and and go see it. Um, saw it a couple of times. It was fun. It was cool. Yeah, so that it was, was very, very popular. Yeah. Very popular. How about books? Do you remember any particular book at the time that was sort of popular or meaningful? I guess just two years. No, yeah, yeah, I'm hard. trying to think. Not off the top of my head, <laughs> yeah. 
Did you know, this just when you were in junior high, that you wanted to be a vet? Like, did you have a particular yeah, interest in animals? I did. My uncle was a veterinarian up in, um, in the middle of Massachusetts. And on my school vacation, starting right about junior high, I would go up and ride with him for a week. And he did a lot of dairy cows. There was a lot of small dairy farms in New England at the time. And um, so, you know, we would go out and just do routine calls for sick cows or if there was a dystocia, which was a difficult birth, mm -hmm. we would go in and assist with that. And that was pretty cool to um, go in, have, watch my uncle go in and actually pull out the calf and have it stand up and start nursing within 20 minutes, you know, it was just yeah. amazing. And, and the farmers were all really, really cool. Um, they were sweet people. Um, sometimes they paid him. I had one farmer, Mrs. Kimball, she gave us, uh, he, she would give him like 10 loaves of bread, homemade bread. They would barter, you know, right, right. and uh, I, m I remember being in the car and the bread was still warm and eating it while we're going on to the next farm call. Um, and then I went up there quite often and uh, still when I was, before high school, he started his own small animal practice and it was in the, his, my parents, uh, my father's and his parents' house and they had a barn in the back mm -hmm. and it was just a small two cow barn that they had two cows when they were growing up for milk and stuff and uh, he just gutted it and put in a small animal clinic there so I would go up quite a bit during school vacations okay. it was fun Good. do you remember anything painful happening during your junior high years anything particular uh, no I'm trying to think uh, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> that's good then. Nothing um, crazy. The yeah. kids all want to know how you communicated with your friends since they all do things, you know, they text, yeah. you know, whatever. If you wanted to meet your friends somewhere, like how would you? It would have to be. That? It would have to be prearranged. Okay. And um, you know, we did have phones. Um, I didn't know anyone when I was in junior high school who had an answer machine. Oh, okay. So if you weren't home or if no one could answer the phone, you didn't connect. Yeah. Um, yeah it was mostly prearranged and. Um, there was a, a skating rink on Route 2. Mm -hmm. um, it was an MDC skating rink. It's um, before what, where they put all those new apartments in now, just yeah. at the end of uh, Lake Street. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we would arrange to meet there. Right. Uh, other place we would arrange to meet in the winter would be at um, Hills Pond at Monotomy, because yes. that was lit up. Oh. And wow. the town actually used to go in on with little plows and and clear the ice oh. and you could call up the police and say is this ice safe and they would say yes or no wow That's yeah great. um do you have any you know if you as you look back in your junior high west years is there anything that made it particularly special sort of stand out in your mind yeah I mean, going from uh, lock school where you stayed in the same room all day mm -hmm. and had one teacher all day um being able to do a class and then walk into the next class, that sort of was scary initially because we thought we would get lost and all that, but um, that was fun. I liked the, the change, having the different specialty teachers like my science teacher and, and uh, math and um, the art class. We also each had to take music classes. And uh, um, in the seventh grade, we had a Mr. Edmonds and he was from Texas and had a, and he was pretty tough um, as far as discipline and grading went. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, it was, it, was, uh, it was almost like an adventure going up to the West, you know. Um, just that extra freedom that you had between classes and, and having the lunchroom, you know, I mean, we never had anything like that in, in, in lock school. You know, everyone brought their own lunches. Yeah. And so being able to buy the lunch, that was fun too. So you were starting on your growing up years. Yeah. Like it was a transition. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, thank you. Are there any other memories that you have that, you know, haven't touched on? Well, um, one thing right beside the gym, if you could see the old, uh, the way the land was in front of the Junior High West from the Mass Ave view, um, there was all big uh, hills. And we used to go sledding there a lot. And uh, that was a good place to go sledding. It was, 
and, you know, we would either go there or Robin's Farm, mm -hmm. you know. But um, that was a good place to go. It was close. And uh, it was a good time. Um, I remember m almost uh, most of my time seemed to be I was playing basketball there, you know. It was, uh, in any way we could get into the gym, we would, you know. So it was fun. It was good. Well, thank you so much. Really appreciate you sharing your memories. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs>